Greetings, suns and moons. We're going to go ahead and get into clarifying this energy. I want to welcome all my members, those that are new. I appreciate you. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for your support. Okay. We got the four cups here. So somebody's in regret for this emotional abuse, physical abuse. Okay. Whatever form of manipulation this person chose to use. Okay. I feel like this person was trying to keep you stuck. They wanted you to be stuck. This person did not want you to move forward. While they had you waiting, they had three or more people that they were rotating here. This person made a choice. They felt like they got the golden ticket. For some of you, this person may have met this individual at work, or this is somebody they work with, or this is somebody that they hired. They couldn't make a decision, okay? They couldn't make a decision. Somebody also thought that they were going to get a position, but they didn't. All right. And this was shocking to this person with the three of swords being here. OK, this person can't hold back their anger, but I feel like whatever they did to get this position, it could have been lying on a resume or something like that. It was unethical. This is somebody that's petty. And I'm getting that whole scenario of uh, that skater, you know. I don't know how if I remember correctly. Um, she sabotaged the other skaters so she could win. Some of you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, when you are commenting, right, specifically for the tears, sometimes I'm not able to get the messages. I still don't know why I'll see them there, but they don't show up. So make sure that you're not using any foul language because it will get picked up by the system. OK, why is the king of wands here in reverse? King of Wands. Let me stand up. I got hot when I started doing this read. I don't know if somebody's angry. We got, I know the truth about you. So, this person may have been watching you or watching this person that they gave an offer to. Now, for some of you, this person withdrew their offer because they were turned off. And I did a reading where I said that this person is turned off. Those that were meant to see the reading definitely saw the reading, okay? Somebody was too greedy. Now, if you haven't checked out the part one of this, make sure to do so. A link for it uh, will be in the description box below. Somebody doesn't know how to compromise, okay? This is somebody that's kind of like bratty. We got law of attention. Whatever you give your attention to, you pay with your mind, body, and uh, soul, OK, for some of you, this person is in regret. They may feel like they see you or they want to see you out and about and they're wishing that they gave this offer to you. OK, I'm not saying take this person back. I'm not saying forgive them because, again, this is something for you to overcome. You could put in the comments, oh, I don't want to take this person back. But deep down inside, only you know the truth. Right. And some of you, you don't know the truth because you're still mentally conflicted. OK. I'm hearing talk is loud and talk is cheap. We got somebody that is being interrogated or they were possibly called into the office and questioned. OK, that's what I'm getting. Um, somebody also, again, may be getting interrogated by law enforcement. All right. This person may be in jail. That's one. That's another scenario. OK. Another is this. So you have someone and I feel like this is a different energy. OK, it could be this king of cups that wants to come towards you, but they're waiting for something. They could also be experiencing a similar situation. But what I'm getting is this person is hiding something. OK, they're hiding that they want to come towards you. They're hiding that um, they know somebody is stealing from them. I do. I get that scenario that somebody's getting interrogated about their work or at their work. Why is this two of swords here, please? <laughs> Look at that. The test. Hand of God. A mother speaks the truth. And you know, well, some of you, you know. Some of you don't. In this position, it's arrested. Okay. 
So, somebody could be getting questioned about a case. Somebody may be getting some information. I got notifications popping up. Somebody may be getting some information regarding a family member or their work um, that's really deceptive that has them caught up. Okay. Yeah. I feel like this person is heartbroken in secret by this betrayal because this betrayal came from somebody that was close. But not only that, I feel like for some of you, you tried to warn this person or they were warned with a day wasted and pass. Okay. The deception is for some of you that this person knew that you were the better choice, but because they may have felt like for whatever reason, more than likely money, that they should stay in a situation. They may have been blackmailed also, okay? This person may have been in court or fighting some sort of court case and they didn't want to get you involved. Ethics, why is this here? Self-restraint, because I was going to say integrity, because we got ethics, integrity, and self-restraint there. Yeah, science. Uh, so, yeah, this is about somebody that's passed over. Somebody may be getting interrogated about that. Someone that they love. All right. So this person was a doppelganger copycat type of energy here. This person was hoping that they didn't get found out. But we got the thumbs up. So this person definitely found something out. This was a faded situation. So that um, magician here. Right. Is, is an indication that somebody was doing some form of sorcery. Somebody is into pagan practices. OK. We got named that Faye. So this could be, you know, multiple people in your environment or this um, this person's environment. And it's, everybody's so deceptive. OK. With this Ten of Swords could be 10 people that this person cannot pinpoint or they couldn't pinpoint in the past where it was coming from, okay? Because that on that card, it says, understand the world around you. So before this person could get to this completion with the world card being here, they had to name all the culprits, okay? Somebody could be doing a police report. And most definitely, this is somebody that they love, this could have something to do with an inheritance that's been coming up again a lot lately. I feel like the readings that I, I started doing maybe a year or two ago, possibly six months, are now coming to fruition because a lot of people didn't listen, right? I'm here seeing is believing. So let me go on in here and get these. Oh, I just had like a rush go up my back like chills or something let's see where's my cards at haven't been getting that um the heart cards too much lately so i tend to put those up why is science here so somebody couldn't figure out the way to somebody's heart OK, this is somebody that's into intellectual. They're always thinking. I do feel like somebody got an adrenaline rush from trying to break someone's heart. And interesting enough, in one of these readings, that energy was right here in that in that same place. Science wise is here. You let me down and. I have trouble with intimacy. Yeah, pretty much uh, clarifying what I said. Okay, so this person has uh, issue with working with their heart space. Interesting enough. Okay, this King of Wands energy could be a false flame, whether if it's male or female. Right? I think ultimately, at the end of all this, this will be this person, this King of Cups energy. 
So for some of you, this person may be going to the King of Pentacles where they are rebuilding their finances, possibly invested in something new, invested in, in themselves, invested in a better person. Ultimately, it's about healing so they can make it to the next level. But for some of you, this person has already been in the King of uh, Pentacles they started off here this reading with the king of wands okay so somebody's not interested they are not turned on by the situation so this regret uh, allowed push them into a different space okay and we're talking about kings here um the kings begins the reading and the kings in the reading so everything in between especially with this knave of uh Chalices, this is giving me like a new beginning. Investing in themselves or investing in a business or something like that with the rebirth and the king of uh, pentacles. On the flip side, this could also be someone's child having a child. Some of you, you may be taking care of a deceased loved one's child as well. We got you broke my heart. And that's on top of the three of swords, right? Heart central wise is here. That was quick. I don't know what comes next. I still have feelings for you, but they don't know how to express them. But this person definitely admires you. Okay. I feel like this individual feels like you're the only person that was honest with them or that will be honest with them. Okay. Why is the seven of wands here, please? And they went right on top. And, and what is... What always gets me is the way they fall diagonally. That always gets me. So we got 228. That could be significant, but as well as 12. Okay, so this is telling me that this is karma. All right. Um, this person is realizing how influential SEX is. Okay. This person was used to blaming other people. Is and this is what became the self-imposed prison because they didn't want to take accountability. I feel like this person is realizing that, but as they come to this realization, all their secrets is coming out are things that were hidden from them in the past is coming out is because they have to complete this cycle or you have to. We got a throne. Yeah. We have angels of knowledge and understanding that sits around God's throne. So this could be an earth angel. You could be an earth angel, a star seed, because that's on top of um, the star card. But somebody, it feels like they are locked out of divinity. Like they sold their soul or something with the star card being here. This person wants a new beginning. I do feel like they may be calling on angelic assistance here. And, but I'm hearing there's nobody to blame but yourself. So I feel like this person may be taking accountabil uh, accountability. With premeditated and planned beforehand, beforehand, this person knew what they were doing. And then we got blame. And then on this side, we somebody that is full of rage, right? So somewhere along the line, somebody was trying to place blame on somebody else. We got, I do declare there's something in the air. I'm burning the candle at both ends. Bitter betrayal, skeleton keys, houses to haunt. And that is the end of the line, devil driver, right? Yeah, look at that. So that's that energy that I was getting where this person feels like they're locked out of divinity or they, they're locked away from you. Take it how it resonates. Eight of Swords, why is this here? Come on, man. So this person was lured away by a sweet siren, by somebody's song here, something that somebody illust um, illustrated. They plan beforehand, definitely speaking about a call, a setup, a plot with somebody that they have children with or you have children with, someone they work with, somebody they married, okay? They're finding out this person was a karmic and they do feel like it was their fault here because they gave some uh, a throne to someone that they knew wasn't deserving of it, okay? I'm hearing it's cheaper to keep her. So 
This person can't rest. I don't know why her heart burns. <laughs> I don't know. We got the sun card here. And that's on top of the sun, too. So we got the sun. We got the fire. So somebody's being burnt by the truth. It's kind of like an energetic vampire here. This is something that somebody did not want to accept. Okay. But they definitely got caught up. If this person was trying to illustrate some sort of downfall in your life, it definitely showed up in theirs, right? This is my Google magic backfire card. So they definitely was doing something that they shouldn't have been doing. Now they have, I'm hearing demon possession. Okay, this person may be hearing voices. They may be having some sort of psychotic break. And again, I'm not a doctor. Please seek out the proper uh, help that you may need, whether if it is financial help, spiritual help, or physical help. This reading is for entertainment purposes only. So anytime these particular cards come out, that is telling me, for some of you, this is surrounded somebody that's passed over. And again, we see the, the feathers. That's another indication. Somebody could have been in an accident or something was done accidentally. Okay. And you may be receiving like signs. Usually, a lot of times they're feathers, they're leaves. Okay. You know, when you're driving... I did a reading where it talked about your family member. It may have been somebody's uncle or nephew is in the car with them when they drive. Why is great uncle here? For some of you, this could be your um, half siblings father. OK, you could be this father. Or this is your brother's child or your brother. We got evolution. What's at the bottom? teacher so yeah this is a lesson like a spiritual lesson for some of you you have a native american ancestry or somebody in this situation does um i always notice the monk on there so that may be significant for somebody too we got patience you are able to let the universe energy of transformation universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm gratitude you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. Detachment. Yeah, somebody, I feel like grief, like somebody's grieving. Somebody feels responsible, okay? Especially if this was like a drinking and driving scenario, okay? We got you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideas of love. For some of you, this is a family member that has passed over. And they're actually your guide, okay? We got choose love over fear. This whole reading was about that, right? But somebody just didn't know. Maybe they didn't have or you didn't have an example of love. I feel like this is the energy of being raised in toxicity. We got expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love, right? A lot of love cards, okay? So those are all messages for you or for whoever is going through this, okay? For some of you, this you may be trying to counsel someone that uh, that has a lot of grief or you are this person where you always get the people that you feel are broken. And I don't like saying it like that, but that is how I was guided to say it because maybe that is something that you said, okay? Why is the Ten of Swords here, please? Let it be. We got Trolliana. So this, this person that was in secret competition with you, that moves from their subconscious. This is someone that didn't want somebody to use their intuition. Okay. This could also be a mother figure, a child's mother, your mother that was involved in this betrayal. OK, they were involved in guiding someone in the wrong direction. This person could be passed over. They may be trying to send signs as well. Look at that. We got mother issues, lack of closure, trauma, taboo, depression and chaos. What do we need to know about Trolliana, please? 
Come on, there's so many. I just don't want to be here all day. So, of course, Trolliana is miserable, okay? And we all know misery loves company, right? So this person was trolling, lying, making up things when they didn't get what they wanted. They were willing to get into this petty party so they could upgrade. That's all I'm getting. But their plans, they didn't work out. We see the two of wands there. Okay, so somebody's in this energy. You're like, why are we together? And this is something that they're realizing here. And this person is like, I'm sorry. Did I roll my eyes out loud? They don't care. Okay, they don't care. The, the whole plan was to keep someone stuck for somebody to lose their crown. And so now this person is in this energy of having to step up or stay stuck. In this friends group, in this career we got lost a fight, okay, a fight for their soul or a fight for their divinity. We got a day wasted. We got the siren card, okay. Somebody's always being tempted and they always falling for the temptation. And bingo, bango, we got you were my oppressor and I've been programmed to obey, but now you are my handler and I will execute. <sighs> Rebirth, why is this here? Contradictory, paradoxical. Someone does the opposite of what they said they would do. <laughs> I feel like somebody w was sent to give you a message, but they didn't give it to you. All right. I feel like this person started lying. They may have said that you were with someone else, that you had a child, that you were sleeping with somebody else. But some of you, they may have even said they slept with you because I've been getting that, especially with the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Wands here. There was some sort of deception around communication. Two of Wands, why is this here before I get out of here? So this person is unsure of what comes next because they have to trust. Like the divine has this person right where they want them. This is where they're supposed to be. Because now they cannot uh, create a narrative here. Yeah, look at that faith. God is good. So there's going to be a new offer for those of you. This, if this person is locked up, rather if it is physical. This is giving me physical for somebody. This person may be realizing they're, again, this is clarification. Why they ended up in this position, they were trying to blame other people, but they, they only put themselves there. Okay? If you were trying to help open this person's eyes, awaken this person, they possibly blamed you. It's kind of like, taking out the messenger scenario because they didn't want to feel this deception was coming from in their inner circle. But for some of you, somebody is stuck. They're waiting to be released. Okay. This person made poor judgment and who to give their offer to. But for some of you, this person is coming out of bondage and they, and this, uh, they're transforming the way they think they're, they're blooming into this but beautiful butterfly, right? They're getting a new offer, a new chance with the Ace of Cups. Okay, for some of you, they want to start a business with you. They may even want to have a child with you. For some of you, you could be pregnant by this person or somebody's pregnant in this scenario. Because 777 for me is talking about deeper spiritual connections. Okay, and when you make the choice to go after a deeper spiritual connection, not physical, but spiritual Good things come towards you. It's like mag uh, magnetic. So I feel like somebody is transforming out of lower vibrations and into something more ma um, majestic. Is what I wanted to say. Magical. Because this person learned a lesson. Okay. Of course, that's not going to be for everybody. And there's several people in this scenario. I want to get one more for this great uncle. Yeah, to have and to hold opportunity of a lifetime so this person may have not treasured you or treasured the idea of marriage but i feel like 
something is transformation uh, happening. Okay, it could be a transformation in somebody's marriage. Okay, great uncle. Wait for me, trying to play catch up, unfinished business. So this is somebody that was in a part of um, this deception that can't sleep. This may even be this King of Wands here in reverse. This great uncle. Yeah, somebody may be realizing something about this uncle, this great uncle, this brother. It could be somebody, again, that they grew up with. They may have, they could be fraternity brothers, or they may call each other brothers. This person can't sleep. We got life is tough, but darling, so are you. So I feel like somebody's going to come to the realization here. If this person participated in this sorcery, they're definitely stuck. They They are. This person may be having some depression and they could be watching you, watching me uh, as well. All right. I hope I gave you some clarity. If not, maybe it'll come out in the next reading. But we do have the CEO. Well, this is my Empress card. All right. But this this Empress could go both ways. Right. This is a deceptive type of Empress because in this position, this is the stalker card. Right. Stalker. We got the. Um, I want to say. Um, imposter here, but this is called the, uh, what is those, um, um, man, I just got a brain fog, anonymous, anonymous, so this is definitely somebody's ex, somebody wanted to be somebody's twin, somebody that somebody was married to, or somebody that someone has children with that's involved. We got clutter, don't understand, and humiliation. So this person didn't understand the assignment is what I'm getting. Deuces.